everyone, what's up? How are you? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya, and uh, yeah, let's get right back into the game. We're, I think we're getting close to the end. We got the last memory, so yeah. Let's see how we can do this without without Teddy now. Whoops. Oh god, my nose is... Some kind of imagined or play, played, imagine, or uh, not imagine, make believe. She was the monster that took Teddy. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just getting some flashbacks. <sighs> bad memories and shit. Is there nothing we can do here? <sighs> Stay away from me! I'm fine. <laughs> I'm too. I never meant to. I 
guess that's the dad then, huh? Hi, hey, little one. Come here. Did you like your gift? What happened to his arm? Don't worry. We'll fix him up. That was a dream then, huh? A very bad dream. And each time these weird monsters came, it was his mom. no fan of alcohol and only drank so little in my life. <sighs> wow, that's a lot of people, huh? supported this game or financed it. I wonder why would you want to make such a game to uh, get an attention to the topic or is it a way was it a way for that person or the one the person who came up with it to uh, deal with his or her own experiences or bad memories or something of the sort. Uh, sorry, wait, I have to blow my nose. a lot of people <laughs> we're still at or only at, it's just that D I don't know what to say I want to say so much. On the other hand, I don't want to talk about it. It's just... There's so many traumatized people in this world.
and the first couple of years in our lives are the most important ones where so much goes wrong for so many of us and then we have to fucking clean up those pieces for the rest of our lives at least some of us and it's so easy to kill a child's soul it's so easy I look out there in this world and I see so many soulless people just because they got broken up badly when they were kids and now they're these horrible people and it's it's I mean sure it's easy to be a horrible person I have my own experiences with that but I don't want to be a horrible person I just want to be me And yet, I too do not know who I really am. Because trauma led me down a messed up path of self-destruction and self-hate. It made me an easy victim for brainwashing. Where I found a very wrong identity for myself that just fucked up my life even more and I see so many people out there making the same mistakes and they don't even I don't know what to say is no they don't I get the impression that they don't even waste one minute or second that they might be the ones who are wrong. I think the whole world has to bow down to them. I mean, I know those thoughts. I've had them. But I always knew they were wrong. It's not, I mean, the world is fucked up, sure. But who the fuck am I? to demand from the world to change to my liking. I have to be the one who changes. I have to be the one to realize I'm fucked up just like the rest of the world, but the world can only change if we all change, if each one of us tries to become a better person. You know, if we, we acknowledge, yes, we are damaged, we are all very damaged and it's this trauma that's causing all this all this chaos and screaming and yelling at the world doesn't help and screaming at ourselves doesn't help either And to all... No, I've scrapped that. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I... I want to say so much, but... <sighs> Life's hard. And all those people who, who drank, who are alcoholics, raising a child, fucking that child up, they didn't do it on purpose. Because they were just dealing with their drama and didn't know better. 
it's hard to accept that because it's so much easier to hate that person and you know yell at that person it's your fault I'm fucked up and yeah sure but there's also a person you know who fucked up the other person and who fucked up the other person and we just keep passing it on and just keep fucking everyone up And then we all live these fucked up lives and... <sighs> Life is so beautiful. Or can be so beautiful. <sighs> oh god. I should stop less playing games that m make me cry. people in my life who had problems with alcohol or drugs or both I mean as I mentioned before I think I myself have been very addicted to weed because I started drinking and I fucking hated it, and I did not want to become an alcoholic. <sighs> and I had the chance to take practically every drug there is out there, more or less. As I said, I hung out with people who were all fucked up, just like me, you know? And uh, I was always afraid of other drugs. I was always afraid I would become addicted. Because back then I, I was I had such a problem without weed that I didn't want any really bad drugs to to bother me as well, you know, to get addicted to them and ruin my life and my health and everything and <sighs> There's so much going through my head. I don't know, if you're struggling, get help. It's worth it. It's, it's not worth ruining your life, whatever happened. Whatever the reason is. There's always ways to get out of anything. You know, for me personally, what, I mean, I've been on this path of depression for most of my life due, due to my childhood trauma and the, <sighs> I tried getting help and never really worked out that great, but what, where I actually found a lot of help was on the internet. I'm so grateful for the internet or especially for YouTube. There are so many 
useful people on YouTube, psychologists, people who share the same experiences, people who offer help, explanations. Actually, YouTube has helped me a whole lot more than psychologists or anyone did. <sighs> God damn it, what a game. Uh, on the one hand, I kinda hate it, but it did kind of kick me in the gut, so uh, they did a good job with that. The atmosphere was definitely brilliant, the sounds, and the story, well, I just have a personal what experience or I don't want to talk about it really. Oh god. Tomorrow I'm gonna hate myself for all the again for all the things I said here and I wanna edit it out and not open myself up like this and make myself so vulnerable and feel so weak while doing so, but that's just a big part of me. <sighs> Doesn't mean though that I'm, that I don't also have a strong side that's been the uh, challenged a lot these last couple of years and uh, that's what I'm concentrating on that's where I'm you know <clears throat> holding on to my strong side I don't know what to say anymore. I, as I said, I could go on for another five hours and talk complete. Chaos. <laughs> this game really got to me, so good job, you people who made the game. I don't think that was the intention <laughs> to fuck me up. And I don't know if if it will have that kind of an effect on people who are not affected. I don't know. I can't say because I react very strongly to a lot of things. I'm very over emotional. But I stopped that. I stopped letting that rule my life. No, because. I'm in control, not my emotions, not my messed up thoughts, not that chaos in me, that hurt, that trauma, all that bullshit from outside, all the things that have been said to me or done to me or whatever, I'm, I'm in control, as hard as that is sometimes, because uh, I just, I want to give up control, I want to I don't want to be responsible for me or my life or anything. I just want to crawl under a rock and never come out again. That's how I feel very, very often. But that's not how life's supposed to be. That's not how I want to live life. So, uh, yeah. That's one of the big reasons I'm doing this. I mean, sure, one of the reasons is I 
of course, like so many, I want to earn money. I need money to live. <laughs> but I also want something to do. Some task I can fulfill every day or work on. Some goal I can reach. But this having to talk to you, even if I'm just talking to a camera right now, just knowing that, you know, theoretically millions of people could see me, that scares the shit out of me. And that is why I'm doing this. <laughs> just to kind of prove to myself that I can. I can conquer any fear. I just want to prove to myself that I'm so much stronger than I think I am. And that I can do this. There's so many people on YouTube, you know? who do whatever they do and some of it looks so fucking easy it is probably for some people it is on some days for me as well but this just this 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 episode was really it was kind of hard now for me these last 20 minutes or however long I've been talking and uh, <clears throat> yeah uh, you guys if you made it this far, and actually stuck through everything that I just said, thank you. Thank you very much. And if you yourself are suffering from bad trauma, depressions, anxiety, whatever else there is, I mean, there's such a plethora of issues nowadays. Just don't ever give up fighting for yourself. Because life is worth it and you are worth it. And no matter how, how much you think that you might be worthless, you're not. Love yourself. If there's nobody in this world who loves you, or you think that nobody loves you, learn to love yourself. It's hard, I know, especially if you come from a deep place of self-hate. No, wait, a, a place of self, deep self-hate. <laughs> Hating is easy, but loving yourself is hard, but it's not impossible. There are ways, and each time you made this little step and got to a new place, a new level, and start loving yourself more, it's so worth it. Believe me, it's so worth it. No, not just believe me, trust me. I've been on this path a long time. And I've gone in circles very, very often, but at some point I realized that even though I keep going in circles, it's like I'm, I'm going up sometimes or often, and even though the same kind of problems keep reappearing, I noticed at some point that I started reacting differently. So. Uh, it has been worth it what I'm doing, you know, fighting for myself, for my life. Oh, hey, there goes my timer. <sighs> oh, 
wow, so I talked for nearly half an hour, well, more or less. And now I lost my train of thought. No. Just whatever you were told, whatever people maybe tell you about yourself, um, don't hate yourself. It's not worth it. And don't, also don't, don't listen to people who tell you that self-love is uh, selfishness. There's a line, there's a difference. Self-love is necessary and very healthy. But in our messed up world, for some reason, Self-love kind of disappeared as very, very cool or whatever to hate yourself and hate everyone and hate the world. <clears throat> and if you watch my videos, yeah, I, I'm always ranting about I hate this, I hate that, I hate that. And I do. <laughs> but yet... I love ranting. I don't necessarily always want things to go a certain way. Like if I say, oh, I don't know, like I, like, I hate cars, but that doesn't mean I want cars to go away. They're very necessary and very useful, you know? Or when I say, oh, I fucking hate politicians. Yeah, I want most of them to go away. I mean, if it was up to me, I would, wouldn't want all of them to go away. But the way people are, anarchy don't work. You know, I don't mean the kind of anarchy where everyone kills anyone just to get their way. And, oh, look at me, I'm the strongest and coolest and best. Get out of my way, you know. No, I'm talking about anarchy, I think, in the... Um, original thought it's just the absence of regime but it can only work if people are not as messed up as we are so as long as that's not the case we will always need some kind of government or some kind of rules just you know don't overdo it just don't make so many rules that it hurts people. Just don't make taxes so high that people can't pay them anymore or have to give 70% of the little bit they earn. And, you know, so in that... Well, how did I get here? How did I start talking about politics again? I fucking hate politics. Uh, I mean, that's my... You know, that's part of my trauma, part of my problem. I fucking hate authority. I hate it if people tell me what to do. Because all I've been told was never very good for me or useful. But stupid me never believed in myself because I believed what people told me, you know, that I'm... Never mind. <laughs> it just killed all the trust for me. And it's hard to get that trust in myself back, but I'm working on it. I'm working on a whole lot. <sighs> See, and now I'm getting this really bad feeling again that I shouldn't be doing so much talking. Why am I telling you all of this? I'm making a fool of myself. Blah, blah, blah. I, I'm just as messed up as anyone. And I can live with it. I just always feel very ashamed and embarrassed among other people because I feel like they'll look down at, on me because I'm so messed up. I mean, they're just as messed up too, but 
Ah, that's the messed up place we live in. And people can be so wonderful. I just wish so many more people would realize that, but then hey. It took me about 40 years, you know, to realize a lot of things. I had a very big breakthrough in 2014. Wait, that was when? That was eight years ago. Okay, so well, I was 38. It's never too late. I've read comments on YouTube by people who were even 60 or 70 who just had had a breakthrough on some video and decided to change and turn their life around. It's never too fucking late and just yeah. Oh god. Fuck you game. <laughs> oh. Say I would like to blame the game now. You made me say all these things about myself. You made me open up. No, that was my own choice. I could have just shut up or cried silently or, you know. Let's see if I'll have the guts to leave all of this in. Maybe I will because I'm thinking ah, it's, nobody's gonna watch it till the end anyway. So. Up to now, nobody really watches my videos as well, so... I feel like I'm the only person on YouTube who wants nobody to watch her videos. Because that makes me feel safe. As soon as I get one, two, three, four, five views, I start shitting myself. It's like, oh god, no. Somebody watched my video, no. On the one hand, you know, of course, I'm, yay, somebody watched my video. But then on a bad day, it's like, oh god, no, somebody watched my video. I can't I contradict myself on a lot of things, or on a lot of levels, and god, I'm so messed up. Why do I keep telling you more and more? You guys. If you made it this far now, <laughs> thanks again. Thank you very much for watching. <sighs> Have a great day or a great night. Don't ever give up. Love yourself. And uh, see you in the next video or game or wherever. Bye.